Hey guys, it's Exile from Watch Your Team Backfire, and I'm here today with Sly. Hello, wie geht's? <laughs> oh god, you did it again. Yes, I did. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> so uh, we got bored and decided to make a hat profile. But then but we then decided we no. Decided, yeah, just why do hat when you can do pat? Paleozoics, because paleos are cool. Yes, they are. They're the best deck ever. So this, yeah, so this is now Pat Frog. Yep. Oh god. <laughs> we have terrible naming sense, but hopefully our deck pull wasn't that isn't that bad. He didn't know that. I knew that though. The, I, I thought of that in the first second I thought of it, and I'm like, I am perfectly willing to sign my name to this. I mean I'm uh, I'm fine with it. It's, it seems pretty cool. I mean yeah, like the name. Get, the let's... name. <laughs> you got I gotta always pat those frogs. I mean totally awesome that for you. <laughs> Anyways, let's get on with the profile. So first off we have Two Scythe and three Morale Attack, one Lancia and a big all attack. Okay, so Scythe, you know, if is if if you can summon it, you can make sure you lock your opponent out from your extra deck. Morale attack, now back at three, destroys one face of your opponent controls. Lancia, during your opponent's turn, you can trip this card from your hand or your face up side from on the on your side of the field face up to so neither neither player can banish cards for the rest of the turn. And big gall attack just because it can destroy up to two set cards you control. Hint, uh, it hits the have... other artifacts. <laughs> yeah, that, that's basically the only reason why we're playing it. Uh, Di so next we have two Dianea and two Mermelio. Dianea is kind of like... Well, what's that card? Uh, it's like that Fire Fist card. Regardless, it brings back any Trap Tricks card from the grave, including itself. So, and it, so it's an easy rank 4. Mermelio searches out any tra a whole normal trap card. And if it's special summon, you can target a spell and trap your Pokemon controls and destroy it. Mm -hmm. Next, we're playing um, uh, three copies of Swap Frog because uh, Swap Frog's baller. Um, we're playing yeah. two copies of uh, Rodent Toten because um, really, sometimes the second one comes up. Um, then we're playing two copies of Dupe Frog because, you know, Dupe Lock is also fun. Plus, it can search out the Swap Frog, so it's always nice. Then for the spells, we've got two copies of Part of Desires, because, you know, Neg Nine's fun. Then we got a uh, Monster Reborn, because, you know, when you Neg Nine twice, you have to have some luck on your side. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I like the frogs. I mean, it's Pat Frog, after all. Next, we have one Mirror Force and one Storm Mirror Force, because, you know, the Mirror Force. We have three Sanctum, because Artifact Sanctum is great. It's godly. Two Revoku, yeah. Two Revoku, two Boundless Trap Hole. And two Trap Tricks Trap Hole Nightmare. Two Bombless Trap Hole because it came off the ban list. And it works more than one monster. Especially when it's like cards like with a Rafflesia or anything. Trap Pace Trap Hole Nightmare is kind of like Solemn Warning slash Solemn Judgment. Strike kind it, of only. I thought was right. Or am I uh, wrong? All I know is that if, if, if an opponent's monster tries to uh, activate its effect, you can negate it and destroy it. Yep. So. Yeah, I guess it is like, it, it kind of works like all three, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> now we're playing uh, three copies of uh, Olenoides. This was really the reason why we thought of Pat Frogs instead of, you know, just Hat. Because realistically, those artifacts are just sitting there. But you can actually destroy your artifacts in special amount in your turn with this card, so that's fun. Um, then we're playing one copy of uh, Dynamiscus, because Dynamiscus is, you know, powerful. Then we're playing two copies of uh, Canadia, because, well, Dynamiscus is more powerful, Canadia is usable more often so you know yeah <laughs> then finally no discard cost exactly that cost is not fun but sometimes required then finally we're playing two copies of uh, anti-spell fragrance because you know we're only playing two deck nines and uh awesome cards so why not play it you know yeah our actual deck is basically uh like went like ghost reaper and winter cherry spotter you know invoked Mikaba, abc dragon buster omega the Utopia Brothers, Artifact Durandal, just, you know, for artifacts, uh, Tornado Dragon and Baguska, Reflejo is for us, Totally Awesome is also for us, and it's also the best for card ever. Yeah, Totally Awesome is a great card. It's a toad on a toad with a fruit. It's beautiful. Because it searches right. out that destruction card, that, that MST. <laughs> and Spiral Helix and Heavy Mail Foes Electromite. For our, um, uh, What's it called? A side deck. Yeah, that's it. We're playing quite a few hand traps just because, you know, spiral format sucks. So why not be prepared for another one? 
We play yeah, the three so cherries we'll play, naturally because cherries three nice. Cherries, we have, as I said before, <laughs> yeah. we are playing one Ash Blossom. I mean, you could bump up to the three, but we're just playing one just because of the fact that it's not really that needed just because we have other ways to just stop our opponent. Let's not lie. It's because it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, sadly. We're also playing, uh, you know, Cyframe Gear Gamma and Cyframe Driver just because, you know, Cyframes are great. And plus, Omega's in the Astro deck, so you might as well have some way to play it too. Then there's Time Space Trap Hole and Double Trap Hole and Two Floodgate Trap Hole. Because Floodgate's Floodgate. nice sometimes, but it, all the time. It's nice, but it's, it's not good any, anymore because, you know, tokens and link monsters. But it's still nice when, like, facing, like, monster spamming decks. If you're playing against, like, somebody who's playing, uh, like, a deck that's more like uh, Lights One Zombies, let's say, where they'll summon a Minerva, and you can Book of Moon the Minerva, basically, with that, you can set him out of playing, basically, the rest of the game. So, you know, it's nice when it, when it works. It just doesn't work all the time. <laughs> There's also Imperial Order, the third anti-spell, and Taunted Tribute. Because we still Imperial hate spells. Order kind of, yeah, sp spells suck. <laughs> that's well, that's why we're on three. Exactly. Spells are for the weak. Yeah, Imperial Order is just great in general. Uh, sadly, the errata kind of like killed us, but anti spell Kills our life three, That's what it does. <laughs> yeah. Kills the torrential life Torrential, like, you don't need Torrential, but you, yeah. it's still like a viable option. If you wanted to, you could cut Torrential for a second Ash Blossom. That's what I'd probably recommend at most, probably. You could even could probably cut the second plug at Travel for a third Ash Blossom if you really want. I don't know about that. Floodgate's pretty nice. Especially because you have Raph Laser to use it, even when you don't have it on your field. Well, I guess that actually makes it even more of an incentive to cut it to two, I guess. So yeah, you're done. Well, you learned something new. But too bad Ash Blossom is super expensive, and we can't afford it. Yeah, it's like 100 now. Piece of tour wallets. <laughs> Uh, that's all though, guys. Um, as our um, ex member of Yu Gi Oh! Team Backfire always said, outros are hard. See you guys next time on Dragon Ball Z Kai. Oh, God. <laughs>